Hello guys, what is up? Beckbro Jack here back for another Minecraft video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a repeating circuit. I hope you all enjoy. So for those of you guys who did not catch my last video, I stated that I was trying to learn redstone a little bit and that was true. I've been trying to teach myself redstone from like online tutorials and just like online forums and just stuff like that. Just trying to figure out the basics of redstone, not necessarily the command portion of it where there's all those fancy commands that like Seth Bling knows how to use, but more or less just kind of redstone contraptions and mechanisms that you can create in Minecraft. So right now I'm just kind of starting out and I learned how to make a repeating circuit in Minecraft. So yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. I have two methods to show you guys. Right here we have a hopper type of clock system and over here we have a repeating type of basic circuit. This one's the more basic one, but uh, there is no way to turn this on and off that I believe like uh, like having a lever like I do on this one. So yeah, that is the only downfall, so that's why I have two different versions for you. You can have a toggleable one over here, which is a little bit more complex, or you can have a more simple one that is more compact, just takes up nine blocks right here. So yeah, without further ado, let me show you guys how to build these. So let's just kind of go over here. Let's uh, let's destroy this one right now. Let's just turn off the circuit. There we go. Okay, so the first one I want to show you guys how to do is the hopper build. So let's go to a nice clean area. Uh, let's kind of stay close just in case I forget. Okay, so this looks about good. We have a nice roses around the area. Let's do it up here. So first thing first, you're going to need a block of choice. So yeah, you can just use gold, dirt, uh, stone, any type of block, and you're going to put a lever on that if you want it to be uh the on and off switch if you have a button uh, i do not believe that will work you need to be able to turn on and off this redstone torch right here so from there you're going to have two hoppers going like this and make sure that you put them into one another that's why i was having trouble with this at first so you're going to put what down like that and then put another one down you just have to shift click and then put them next to each other pretty simple so far right well now you need to put a comparator you got to stand on top of it and have it facing like this. Put another block of gold or whatever type of block you're using. A redstone repeater, I believe this way. And then a block of gold and then bam, that'll give you your current. Can come out of there. And then we're going to try and activate this redstone lamp. So this will give you kind of like a disco light effect. You can use this to activate really anything in Minecraft. This is really just a basic mechanism that is used for a lot of bigger things like self-building walls and just more complex stuff like that. So if I were to turn this bad boy on. Oh, oh, we forgot one key part. With the hopper system, you have to put an item inside. So let's just shove, uh, we're going to need that redstone. Let's shove the block of gold. We're not going to need that anymore. So once we turn this off, we should have this going. So yeah, the comparator detects that there's blocks in here and they just keep passing the block back and forth, the item hoppers. And then that overall creates this system where you have the redstone lamp going on and off. And then the cool thing about this is that you can turn on the lever, activate the redstone torch, and then bam, it will activate the hoppers and it will not pass the item back and forth anymore and you won't have to worry about it so yeah i thought that that was a neat little contraption right there for you the other way to build it is a little bit more simple and does not take as many materials you're going to literally just place some redstone down a repeater more redstone a repeater more redstone a repeater just like in this fashion just like that and then you're going to be able to activate it so you're going to want to have something coming off of it we're going to activate this lamp over here we're going to have this redstone coming off just a little bit. This is the only way that I really understand how to activate it. And uh, let's just make a little bit of delay on these so that it's not like a huge disco light. You're going to put down a lever, turn it on and off really, really fast. And then bam, or you can use a button and that'll turn it on and off really fast. So yeah, that is how you make one like this. And the cool thing about this is this is fully customizable. There's a lot more uh, adjustments with the timing on it. So if you want to make it kind of slower, you can do that. But uh, keep in mind that sometimes it will bug out if you do make it too slow. But anyway, guys, that is really it. That was a short tutorial that I thought that I wanted to show you guys. That is so far my extents of redstone. I do know a couple other contraptions. So if you want some more kind of mini tutorials on how to make some redstone contraptions, if you're interested in that, please feel free to go pound that like button and also leave a comment for me down below but anyway guys that is really it my name is beckbro jack and i will see you guys all next time goodbye